going on guys? So, this is a new piece of hardware that I've just recently purchased. It is a Sony VAIO VGN TXN17P. These are an ultra portable laptop classification. Um, this is not, I repeat, not a netbook for a variety of reasons. First off, most netbooks have a 1024 by 600 resolution. This is 13. 66 by 768 with a 6.9 inch widescreen display that is 11.1 inches not netbook <clears throat> the keyboard is not flat and flush like most netbooks most netbooks have a 1.6 intel atom processor which is essentially a ul or ultra low voltage uh, cpu this is using uh, the core technology from the core two duos, but this is the core solo at a 1.2. Now remember, more megahertz is not a better processor, always. <clears throat> Some other things this has. This is a multimedia notebook as well. For example, As you can tell, there's music with the video keys. But anyway, on to uh, other things. So, what else makes this not an epic? This comes pre done with WWAN, which is uh, CDMA based um, for wi wireless 3G internet. Um, so, if you're in the States, this is on Verizon or Sprint. Now, that being said, what else does this have that is not make it a netbook? Well, um, hey, look, a built-in CD drive, or, sorry, DVD drive. Something netbooks have not figured out how to do. Um, there's really not much to say about this. Um, you have two USB ports. One's hidden. You have an express card slot. On the side here, or the front, I should say, you have your expandable memory for SD and memory stick duos. You got your standard array of uh, controls, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi control from one setting. You have volume, you have your WAN, WAN connection, and your volume and your microphone headset. Side, your DVD burner and VGI. BGA out along with your antenna for your WAN. On the back, you have your Ethernet, your battery, AC adapter, and hey, look, fucking Firewire. And on the side, you have another USB port. And I've already gone over that. And then your fan vent, and that's covered by your modem and your other USB port right there. Multimedia keys, as you can tell. They look various lights and whatnot very very good in the laptop if i don't break it depending on what you guys expect out of your notebooks me office work music some videos works great and for those that are floss friendly that want to, you know floss only notebook or whatever this notebook is very very much done with all open source drivers Wireless, all that stuff is all open source. Requires no custom software, no Broadcom chipsets, no nothing, no proprietary drivers are in use on my system. And I will bring that up in two shakes of a second just to show what I mean. Hey, look, searching for drivers. Now this might take a minute. And then right now I am not online, so this will not find anything. But hey, look. No proprietary drivers are used in this system. 
So that means your Linux experience will work very, very well. Um, again, you can get this anywhere from two to four hundred dollars on eBay. Um, if you're dealing with eBay for the first time, anybody with a 98 or higher rating is the people you want to deal with. And always, always check their feedback on shipping and pricing and all that stuff in my personal experience. So, that being said, guys, peace, rate, subscribe. You guys know what the fuck to do.